So, hey guys, welcome to Comic Gaming. If you're new, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the little bell. Comment below, hit the like button, and maybe even share with your friends. Good job. We have cookies. And milk. Might be semen, I'm not sure. Yeah. <laughs> 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 All right, guys, welcome back to Comic Again. Today, I'm going to be going over The Walking Dead, Volume 26, Call to Arms. This does pick up right after the uh, survivors in Alexandria, the Kingdom, and the Hilltop discover what the Whisperers have done to their friends. Uh, in the last volume, uh, the Whisperers did decapitate hundreds of the uh, people from Hilltop, Alexandria, and the Kingdom. Including, spoiler alert, King Ezekiel. Uh, in this issue, by Robert Kirkman, Charlie Adler, Stefano Guadiano, and Cliff, Cliff Rathburn. Um, Rick decides to do a campaign so that people won't forget what the Whispers did. He has people paint on the wall, every wall in Alexandria. Um, let me see if I can find the image. Yeah, there it is. Silence the Whisperers. And of course, that doesn't go over too well with Michonne, who Rick taps. Because in this, Michonne more or less plays the part that Carol plays in the TV series. Um, and Carol's dead in this. And in the TV series, Michonne is playing the part that Andrea plays in the comics. So it's, uh, it's slightly different, but you get the gist. And now that King Ezekiel is dead, Rick is tapping uh, Michonne to lead the kingdom. And there's a kid who, Brandon, he helps Negan escape his prison. Because for those of you who don't know, uh, Negan didn't get killed. Um, after the uh, war took place and, oh, I forget his name. <laughs> um, he turned. He turns on Negan. And rallies a bunch of others to his cause. But Rick slices Negan's throat. Uh, but it doesn't kill him. He takes him and uh, basically puts him in prison for life. Because um, he feels that if he were to kill Negan, he would be no better than Negan. Uh, so he wants uh, this new world to retain its humanity as much as possible. Anyway, Negan escapes with the help of Brandon, and Brandon, and he ends up uh, slight, uh, cutting Brandon's head off, um, which I saw coming from a mile away. Um, Eugene is communicating with a woman uh, in Texas, or no, not in Texas, um, uh, it's not really clear where the woman is. She won't really reveal it. And they're having a hard time trusting each other. Uh, only they're allowed to talk to each other. Anyone else who answers the radio and she'll take it as a betrayal. Uh, she'll take it as not being able to trust Eugene and vice versa. All right, so anyway, I don't know why I'm having a massive brain fart today. I really don't. Um, but Dwight is in charge of training everybody to fight uh, the Whispers. Uh, he even trains Father Gabriel, uh, who at this point is just finally starting to do something other than uh, preach to the people. 
he's actually taking up arms, which is very different than the Father Gabriel in the TV series, because Gabriel has already started fighting alongside the survivors on that. Um, but anyway, Brandon takes Negan to the Whisperers. Uh, Negan kills Brandon and comes across the Whisperers. And he he's just he's just going all out uh talking all kinds of shit to them about them wearing the skin of the dead to blend in and all that. And he comes across Beta, who's this big burly looking guy that I could really picture Tyler Maine portraying in the TV series. For those of you who don't know, Tyler Maine is the one who played hold on just a second. Tyler Maine was the first person to play Sabretooth in the X-Men movie. He also played Michael Myers in Rob Zombie's Halloween uh, movies. So he would, I think he would do a great job of pay, playing Beta in the Walking Dead TV series. Um, eventually, Negan realizes what rules the uh, Whisperers live by. And how to gain power. Uh, pretty much they're like a pack of animal. Pack of wolves. Um, there's Alpha which is a female. Um, she's the smartest one of the uh, group. She's the leader. And in order to take her place. Uh, someone's got to challenge her. And kill her pretty much. Um, which Negan. Pretty much takes her by surprise. And. Let's see. Cuts off her head. And so he becomes the new alpha. Um, very good story. I'm liking the route The Walking Dead is taking. I hope they keep it up. I don't want to see it start to fall off. Like the TV series is starting to. Um, it's getting a little boring. But yeah, I really enjoyed this. The Walking Dead, Volume 26, Call to Arms. Great story. Must read. Go out, pick it up. I bought this at Book World. I have all the other volumes. Needed this one. So pick it up and add it to your collection. Alright guys, so that's it for this week. Take care. And go out and get you some comics. If you like this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit the like, comment below, and share with your friends. <laughs> I hate you.